Now let's see this problem, a uh, set of problems. A building has seven floors numbered 1 to 7 in such a way that ground floor is numbered 1. The floor above it number 2 and that is like simple. Then uh, out of seven people, somebody lives on some floor. So we have been given some information regarding this. So what I do is, uh, since the position of the floors are uh, is fixed, so what I can do, I uh, just write down the name. Uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? So these are the seven floors. Uh, next is... Uh, the first information which we have, the first thing is the first point, P lives on fourth floor. So, 4 is P, right? T lives on the floor immediately below U. So, we have U, T combination, right? U, T combination because U, uh, T lives on the floor immediately below U's floor. So, U, T combination we have. Then, U does not live on second or seventh floor. So, UT cannot be over here and UT cannot be over here, right? So, that's okay. Then, R does not live on an odd numbered floor. That means, R lives on 2 or 4 or 6. Now, our fourth floor P is already there. So, R will be 2 or 6, okay? Then, Q does not live on floor immediately above or below R. So, we cannot uh, have a Q, R, Q combination. That means neither Q, R, neither nor R, Q, right? So, that is one more thing. S does not live on the topmost floor and B does not live on any floor below T's floor. So, this is the information available with us. Now, we can start with this U, T and R. Now, in these sort of puzzles, some hits and trial will be there because there is... Uh, a possibility that whatever I do for the first time may or may not be correct. But in second and third step, we'll get to know that it was not correct or it is correct, right? So, suppose I have UT combination and UT combination, as I told you, as it is given away, second and seventh floor uh, is not possible. So, um, U does not live in second on seventh floor. So, U cannot be over here. That means T cannot be over here. So, suppose we arrange U and T over here for, for a while, right? So, U and T. Then R is either 2 or 6. So, if T is there, that means R must be here, right? Then we cannot have Q, R, Q. So, Q cannot be here, Q cannot be here. That means Q has to be here, right? Now, in this case, what is happening? V does not live on any floor below, below T's floor. So, V can be arranged either at this place or this place, but that will be uh, contradictory to this given statement, right? So, that means this UT combination was wrong. Okay, this is the same thing you have to follow in your exams. So, possible next thing we can make the UT combination not over here, not over here. Then we can make UT combination over here. So, now this is U, this is T. Okay. So, R must be definitely at 6th floor. Now, Q cannot be over here, over here. So, Q has to be here. Then we are left with S and V. S does not live on the top floor. That means V is here and S is here. See, we just made a single trial and then the second trial we are successful. Now, this is a perfect arrangement. Okay. So, after some practice, these sort of problems can be done easily. Once you are clear with this, uh, it may take your one on maybe two minutes. But after spending this two minutes, the remaining problems, maybe four to five Find out this correct arrangement. After that, it's a matter of a minute to answer all the questions. So, who lives on topmost floor? So, here B. Who is immediately above uh, P? That is S. Okay, similarly, you can answer all the questions. Who lives between U and Q, uh, R floor? So, all these questions can be answered in less than a minute. So, I hope you are clear with this. And for this particular question, four of the following five are alike in certain ways. So, from to, so form a group which is the one that does not belong to the group. Q, U, S, T, V. So, we just see Q, first floor, U, third floor, S, fifth floor, T, second floor, and V, seventh floor. So, you can very well observe that except T, all of them are living in odd numbered floors. So, T is the one uh, who does not belong to this group. So, that's also very simple. So, I hope... You are clear now?